Hi, this is Krishan from cloudkrishan.com. Today's topic is Microsoft Azure Portal Tool. So what we will do here, uh, we will look at uh, Microsoft Azure Portal and what options are available, how we can create resources and how we can, how we can design our dashboard, uh, cloud cell, etc. So let's start. So first of all, guys, uh, the URL for Microsoft Azure Portal is portal.azure.com. So, you know, let, let me highlight it. Uh, this is the URL portal.azure.com, right? So, and this is this looks like something like this. Uh, it's my account. So, uh, I just took the screenshot of my account, uh, but I will go through it. Uh, let's open Microsoft Azure Portal. So, this is how it looks like. Uh, this is portal. I logged in with my account, as you can see. Uh, kksharma.mc at hotmail.com is my account. And I'm logged in my account. So if you look at uh, this is portal.azure.com, right? This home is the default. So even if I remove home, it will still open, right? And uh, so let's look at the different sections of it. Uh, First of all, if you look at uh, left side, you know, uh, this is the favorite. So favorite, uh, we add, we keep adding, you know, resources in favorite. So generally we add resources which we use more frequently. So there are multiple ways to create that, you know, resource in Azure. First of all, the search bar, if you can look at, let's say you want to create, you know, resource group. So what you can do, you can, you can search for any service, any Azure service here. So I will type resource group right so anything related to resource you know you will start seeing here so you want to create a resource group you will select here so that, that's the one way uh, you know but if there are resources which you frequently create you can add those resources in you know favorite so let's say this resource group you can see here so this is added in my uh, you know uh, in, in my favorite list if i want to remove it from there you see the tiny tin, tiny star here if you which is below right if i click on it so it means uh it has gone from my favorite list if i want to bring that back i can you know go there and just can again click on the tiny star and you will see it it should have been added right at the last you can adjust them here and there right based upon your priority so i have moved this source group from there to there let's say virtual machine i want to keep first because that's the most important thing i i, I keep doing so you know i can just uh, move those from here to there so this is the favorite section that's the one 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 of the section uh, on the azure portal you can look at the all services so if you click on the all services you will see the all services list of all services whatever you want to create let's say compute right category so whatever you can do in compute you can create virtual machine virtual machine classic virtual machine scale chat functions so everything like anything related to networking so this is how you can see all the available services, uh, you know, uh, in Microsoft Azure portal. That's the one thing. The next thing is dashboard, right? So you look, uh, I did not design my dashboard, but you can have your own dashboard. So if you want to present, it's a simple, there are the widgets, multiple widgets, which you can add. Uh, let's say this is a dashboard. You can create your own dashboard. You can edit, you know, this using on this create button. You can then add, okay, I want this. Uh, give a dashboard name and just save it or if you already have a dashboard you simply can go on the dashboard click on the edit and then you can add you know the different widgets available there let's say users and group so if i click users and group it has been added you can you can change the sequence right you can move from here to there so this is how uh, you know uh, you can design your own dashboard so i will not save it uh, the next is notification section. So if you see uh, th th this section here, right, uh, where you see my account name and then you see the users here, uh, you can give the feedback. Any feedback you want to give, you can provide your comment. Uh, this is uh, support, uh, support by the way, depend, right? If you want to take some support from the Microsoft, you can go so help and support. And uh, then let's say there are the different support plans available provided by Microsoft. Is it still loading? Uh, you can select, you know, uh, support plan, whichever best fit for you, or what type of subscription you you are, you know. So I have Visual Studio Enterprise subscription, so you know, uh, I'm using that. I can choose my own support plan. 
somehow it is running slow but it will come definitely yeah so you can so my plan is basic which is by default i get uh, you know when i create microsoft visual visual one and then you can have that upgrade you can upgrade yourself right so stand one so then you will have to you know uh, uh, provide all that information and you will have to pay for it and uh, next one is notification section so you can see notification section if you see if i click on the notification all the notification microsoft sends will be listed here currently this is just a one notification as you can see uh, it's showing uh, my account balance right which is showing in real saudi real okay uh, th this is showing saudi real because that's what i selected uh, you can have the different settings you see the diff settings button here let's say I want to change the look and feel, you know, uh, of my my display. I want it, you know, the dark theme. So select the dark theme, and then you see this is the dark scene. You can select azure, blue. It's up to you, you know, what theme. There are many settings. Uh, you can see in the settings sections, and most importantly, this year the tiny a tiny icon here. This is cloud cell. Uh, you will use the cloud cell uh, a lot, you know. Uh, so cloud cell is used for running your uh, maybe powershell commands you know your best commands for example uh, if i take the example uh, let's say i want to list my subscription right uh, i want to see uh, my uh, you know uh, my account detail so what i can do it uh, there's an agent uh, and then you know it already saw the account so if i click on it it will show everything related to my account Uh, okay, so this does not type actually. Agent. Account. So, right. So, if I click on account, so you see it has shown the account detail of my, you know. So, uh, this is something private, so I will not display much. So we can close it. So, this is the cloud cell. And uh, finally, you know, uh, there is a support request we already discussed. So I think that's all, guys. Uh, the, the most important thing is whatever resource you want to create, you can add those resources in the favorite and can create quickly. You can also move to the all resources. And, uh, you know, the search bar is always available. Let's say I want to create virtual machine. So I will type, uh, you know, virtual machine and everything related to that will be available. Let's say I want to create virtual network, right? So then I will say, uh, you will see the virtual network I can click on the virtual net and then I can create the virtual network right so I think that's it uh, for uh, this tour thank you very much if you like uh, this video uh, then please uh, subscribe my channel and like this video thank you very much talk to you later bye bye